The hospital contract between the TCI government and InterHealth Canada, according to the Governor, His Excellency Gordon Weatherall, has proven to be corruption-free and as stated in our previous news watch, it has three elements, facilities management, clinical services and the emergency overseas treatment program. The National Health Insurance Plan was also partially established to foot the whopping $5 million per month that the new modern hospitals will cost. Nearly 20,000 workers, including the self-employed, are being enrolled in the plan, and contributions begin November 1st through December 14th to collect some financial reserves before the hospitals open. In a full year, it is anticipated that the contributions will surpass $1.5 million per month, and TCIG will pay the difference between this revenue raised and the costs of providing the clinical services, which is estimated to be at $2 million per month. TCIG will also pay for the monthly facilities and equipment maintenance contributions and for EOTP. Altogether, the NHIP will pay for some one-third of the full cost of the new health care arrangements. According to the statement, another key element of the funding model and one aimed at keeping the level of contributions as low as possible, that is at 5%, will be the introduction of a small co-payment, perhaps $10, for visits to doctors, etc., but not for follow-up treatment. The precise nature of these payments has yet to be defined, but they will only apply when the full range of facilities associated with the opening of the hospitals and access to the family practice regime is available. Drugs will be provided free of charge by InterHealth Canada for inpatients, and as for outpatients, the policy is still being brainstormed, but it is likely that drugs for chronic disease management will be paid for by the NHIP, subject to a contribution by the patient. Other drugs will, as now, have to be paid for by the patient. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.